Okay, now to start with, uh, the board that you choose, the one that I've chosen here is the Creus All-in-One Pro. This is the version 2. Um, this is the one I'm going to be putting on the 450. Uh, to show you how I have mine plugged, this is the receiver side right here. So starting from, like this is, see that little arrow right there, that makes this the front. So from the front left side of your control board, I have my plugs are as followed for the turnigy. I have uh, the auxiliary channel 3, auxiliary 2, auxiliary 1, right here. Uh, on all these too, you want to take all of your, because uh, all you need is the signal wire for these, except for the throttle. So take all everything, take the negative and the, and the positive off of these plugs and plug them in like so with the signal on the outside and then the next plug I have here is the gear then from the gear we run the rudder we find all these here elevator then the aileron and this plug right here, this is the only one that you're going to leave all three wires intact. And that one is the last one plugged in right here on the board. And that's your throttle. I have at the very last port here, see there's one pin in there that nothing's plugged into. Then on the last part here, that's where I'm going to plug my UBEC into. And I got a power... Uh, plug already for this on the ESC so all I have to do is when I install this board I just plug this in and it's ready to go just make sure that your ground is towards the back and your positive is towards the front Oops. I went ahead and I uh, got these nylon plastic posts already on here and in this project I'm going to do what I call a floating board so it's going to be bolted to the top and hanging down um, the reason why is because I, I thought it would help on the vibrations and I didn't want it sitting down on the very bottom of the board or glued to the top of the board. So um, I got the screws right here and that is what I'm going to put on the top. I'm going to go ahead and grab the top of the frame here. And I have my ESC right here. And this is where my ESC is going to go. I'm going to use some of this double sided tape here that I get at Walmart. And I'm going to fasten this uh, cube brain to the top of the board. And that's the only thing that's going to be on the top of this thing or exposed. Everything else I'm going to try to tuck down underneath. Um, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and tuck all of these wires down through the frame. And um, get it ready so I can plug, get rid of the throttle hub here. So I can plug these into the board. I have to plug these into the board before I install the board because once the board is installed I won't be able to plug or unplug anything into this. So um, that's why I'm going to go ahead and run all these wires through uh, the top of the frame. But I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, put the double sided sticky tape padded sticky tape on there yet and I'll tell you why later. Um, is because I have to plug everything in first and then when everything's uh, put on, including this board, the board will be fitting right underneath here and it will have these little four nuts on there. And if I put this on here before I do that, well, obviously I won't be able to put these knots on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the wiring through and then I'm going to plug it into the board. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back.